The Trump administration is trying to go around Congress to expand food stamp work requirements for recipients. The U.S. Department of Agriculture unveiled a proposal on Thursday at the direction of President Donald J. Trump. Under current rules, able-bodied adults without dependents have to work or participate in training programs for 20 hours each week to receive benefits for more than three months over a three-year period. States can waive that requirement in areas with an unemployment rate above 10 percent or where there aren't enough jobs. But the new rule would strengthen the standards for those waivers, so they're used in a limited manner in areas where there aren't any jobs. The announcement comes as the president is gearing up to sign a compromise farm bill passed by Congress that struck down a similar rule. Agriculture Secretary Sonny Perdue said the proposed provision would help people move towards self-sufficiency. The rule has been sent to the Office of the Federal Registrar for publication. Once it's published, there will be a 60-day public comment period before the measure can be put into action. To license it. I did not know. Random radio, special edition. We do these every once in a while. I did not know. I did not know that just a week ago, I did not know. Let me tell you what I did not know a week ago. I did not know that just a week ago, Donald Trump and the Donald Trump administration took a bunch of Georgians off of food stamps. Roll the footage. Well, the Trump administration is attempting to overhaul the nation's food stamp program by expanding work requirements for recipients. Georgia, now one of the first states to enforce those stricter rules, reportedly kicking 8,000 people off food stamps after determining those recipients as unemployed, able-bodied adults who are capable of working. But some in the left-wing media slamming the move with headlines like these. Look at that. Trump plans to make people work for food stamps, novel idea. Here to react, Fox News contributor and editor-in-chief of Campus Reform, Lawrence Jones. First of all, congrats. Good morning. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Appreciate it. The novel idea that you would work, if you're able-bodied, yeah. you should work before you receive government benefits. Yeah, so I think it's important for people to understand that this was a law already in place. It came back uh, way before the Clinton administration, but during the Clinton administration, the bureaucrats took that away during the, uh, the recession, but they never implemented it back. So what this law requires you to do is at least work 20 hours, get some form of education, uh, or, or at least show uh, that you can work, that you make. So, so all these people get on the system and they stay on it. And so this was the discouraged that get them involved in the process, actually look for a job, so they just don't be dependent on this program. Right. Isn't requiring um, work, having work requirements for right. welfare or, or food stamps, however you want to benefit from it, whether it's right. housing or something else, doesn't that enable people to get out of poverty rather right. than stay in it? Right. I know a lot of people on the left want to trap people in this because they will have their voting base and they don't have to work uh, um, um, to actually focus on the issues uh, that fa uh, affect average day Americans. But the fact of the matter is this. A lot of these uh, policies that have affected my community uh, personally. Uh, many of the people in my community end up staying on these programs because it's a trap. It's a government trap to keep them in there. That's why the original program was to allow people to have some form of assist assistance, get okay. a leg up. Yeah. and not be trapped yes. on it forever. So, so, so that's the, the facts of it. As Pete mentioned those headlines earlier, so what is the media doing? Why are they getting it wrong? Well, they're playing this anti-Trump game. It, it came before Trump. So the, the fact of the matter is the president is just now enforcing the law. Um, Chicago, um, Illinois, Chicago, Illinois, Louisiana is one of those main, some of those states are still fighting against us, and Georgia was as well. They're one of the first states to start this. Uh, but at the end of the day, this is a federal law that was way in place way before Trump was there. Is it insulting to tell people that they shouldn't have to work? Well, it's, a, it's insulting, and it's also you have to question the motives, right? Why do you want people to stay on a federal system? That means that you're sometimes at minimum wage, uh, sometimes that you're in a poverty level or below the poverty level. Why would you want people to stay on the system? And I think many people that are on those programs have to question those government officials that are actually advocating for them. Lawrence, if I'm President Donald Trump has instructed the Agriculture Department to tighten rules for collecting food stamps. The new rule would only be relevant to people between the ages of 18 and 49 with no dependents and no disabilities, which is about 1 in 10 people who are collecting food stamps. These adults are required to work or train for a job at least 20 hours a week. 
If not, they won't be able to collect the benefits for more than three months of a three-year period. States may request to waive the three-month limit, but only for areas where there's not enough jobs. Currently, nearly half of the able-bodied adults live in areas that have the work requirement waived. The proposed rules would tighten the criteria for waivers, so only 11% of the adults would live in waived areas. The department states that the new rules are intended to move more able-bodied recipients to self-sufficiency through the dignity of work. All right. So you see it there. This has happened. Now many people are saying, oh, this is racist and it happened right around Christmas. Donald Trump is a racist. Well, this isn't a racist thing as what as per the New York Post. Let me read to you what the New York Post says about this particular uh, 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 new agenda. Georgia reportedly has taken thousands of people off food stamps, tagging them as abled, bodied and unemployed. As the Trump administration continues to crack down on the federally funded program. Now, here's the thing. Georgia has already had this program in place. You do know that, right? You do know that this is not the first time that they've done this to able body employees, right? Roll the footage. New at 4,000 of Metro Atlantans are finding out they are no longer eligible for food stamps. The change affects Cobb, Gwinnett, and Hall counties. Chancellor Sophia Choi is live in Cobb County. And Sophia, this involves able bodied adults who are now required to go to work. That's right, Craig. Able bodied adults who have no dependents. Now, this is where people can come to enroll in the food stamps program with the Department of Chil uh, Family and Children's Services in Cobb County. And about 3,000 Cobb County residents who get those benefits are now under new requirements. We met Kira Thomas applying for food stamps at the Cobb County DFACS office. She's got a child, but says those who don't have dependents still need help. I mean, not everybody can work and it's not that easy to find a job nowadays. About 6,000 food stamp recipients in Metro Atlanta are now required to find work or get into a job training program after getting the benefit for three months. Those affected are adults who have no dependents at home. They are not incapacitated in any way or they, you know, they don't have a mental or physical disability that's documented and or could be observable. But the Legal Aid Society says that group may include those who are still unemployable. For veterans, who may be partially disabled due to PTSD, um, they would not be exempt. So far, three counties in the metro Atlanta area are affected, Cobb, Gwinnett, and Hall. But DFAC says more counties will join them as federal exemptions to the requirements expire now that unemployment is below 10% for each affected county. Legal aid worries some of them will go hungry while looking for work. It can be a job-seeking um, activity for a period of time. These are not the welfare queens that people sometimes talk about. These are very real people who may be looking for work, are trying to find work, they're struggling to find work. They're just not succeeding. DFAC sent out five letters to each person affected. If they did not respond, their benefits will be cut off. Cut off. We're live in Cobb County. Sophia Choi, More than half the food stamp news. recipients in 21 Georgia counties have been dropped from the program after the state instituted work requirements. State figures released this week reveal that nearly 12,000 people were required to find work by April 1st to continue receiving food stamps. 62% were dropped after the deadline, whittling the number of recipients to just over 4,500. State officials began enforcing the work mandate in 2016 and plan to expand work requirements to all 159 counties by 2019. Mm -hmm. So this is not the first time that they've done this. Georgia has done this before. This is something that Georgia does. They've done this before. They'll probably do it again. They want you people to work in Georgia. Stop receiving food stamps and you're not working and you're able to work. Information has been stated that only 10%, I mean only 11% of the people who are welfare recipients in Georgia are people who are able bodied. This will affect you. It won't even affect the majority of the people receiving the food stamps. People are just upset. And of course, they're, the Democrats and the left are labeling this as a racist agenda and getting black folks all in the stir. If you are a woman and you have kids and you have SSDI, which many of you are because you're stupid and you're out there saying that you got mental illness, you'll be fine. Don't worry about it. They're still going to hook you up. You're good. You're probably not able body anyway because we don't want your crazy ass working anyway anyway. But if you are a woman and you are out there and you have like no dependents 
and you're just living off the government, or if you're a man and you're doing that, or if you're just a woman living off the government and you have kids and you're able to go to school, you ain't gotta go to work. You ain't gotta go to work. You can go to school. You can go to training. They don't want to do it. Chicago Housing Authority has something like this. CHA has a program where if you live in the Chicago Housing Authority, you should be going to school or working. But we know, you know how that works. So many people are upset about this. They're saying it's racist. What's racist about this? You know what's racist? What's racist is that thinking. It's racist to think that it's racist to take people off of a program that gives you food just for existing versus telling them that they should work to earn their keep. So essentially... It is you people want the black people or the white people or the Mexican people, whoever it's racist to, because most of the people on welfare are white. So whoever it's racist to, whoever it's racist to, I guess you want them to remain on the plantation. So if they're so if they have Irish heritage, look at what they want to do to you. Look what the left wants to do to you, you Irish, you Irishmen. If they are of Jewish heritage, which I doubt, but if they are, look at what they want to do to you. You you Jew, look at what they want to do to you. They want to keep you attached to the plantation known as the American government. Break the chains. Break the chains, white man, Irishman. Break the chains, my Jew friend. Break the chains, black folks. Break the chains. You don't need to do it no more. It sucks. So, check this out in Wisconsin. They're complaining about this. As apparently. Wisconsin withdrew our waiver um, in April 2015. So you can use Wisconsin to sort of see what's going to happen across the country. Um, since Wisconsin withdrew the time limits, the, the waiver for the time limits, Around 100,000 people have lost their access to food aid in the state of Wisconsin. Because the majority of people who can work already are working. And what this rule does is just make it harder. Add red tape, add letter after letter of things you don't understand, add the requirement to go into the agency um, and prove that you're working when they already have your check stub because that's part of the application process. You can't say you're for the people when you're okay with somebody not eating, not being able to take them care of themselves, being able to take care of their families. You don't get to eat healthy like you would, like you should, because the bad foods are less expensive. That chick there is a damn lazy bones. She's a lazy bones, she just doesn't wanna work. That woman has a cane, she's got two feet, she's able to move around, she can get on somebody's computer, she can be a case manager. I've seen old women work at Walmart pushing carts. She just wants to be lazy, she just doesn't wanna do anything. She can't get the food she wants to eat. Yeah, I'm, I'm sure, I'm sure you want some Pepsis and, 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 and snacks. And that's the healthy food that you wanna eat. I'm sure, I'm, sure, I'm sure she probably does have a salad or two, right? And she drenches it in ranch dressing, whatever. Just because they want people to work, everybody is a victim, right? So now you're a victim if you're receiving food stamps and you're not working because you should just receive them because, oh, woe is you. Get your ass up and work. Get your ass up and go to a training course. Learn better yourself. Why you people don't want to be more than just slaves? on the plantation so does the government okay so you got that happening and this is happening all across the united states cleveland uh arizona uh all over the place illinois is trying to fight uh donald trump on this i don't know what this is about everybody is so oh they're taking away our food stamps they're only taking away food stamps from those who are able body and who clearly can work if you have ssdi if you have a disability if you can't work because you have a lower back injury all these things i'm sure your doctor your physician your case worker somebody knows this about you your probation officer somebody knows this about you it's documented somewhere you will be fine but all these people who are able to work the 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 people who can who are just 
work, who are living, having kids, having more kids, tons of kids, just laying on their back fucking, or they're on the internet, they're on the goddamn Facebook, or they're on the, the goddamn Instagram, the Snapchat, they're on the goddamn YouTube, looking at twerk videos, they're on the goddamn, they're, they're, they're taking video footage of themselves, putting it on Instagram, because they think they're Instagram models, the women who are on the internet doing hoeing, and who are doing prostitution services, yes, you, you should get out there and work, because you have kids, you should be held responsible, and earn your keep, you guys have some comments in the comment section, tell me what you think uh it'd be interesting to know what people are thinking about this you think it's racist you can't think it's racist well if you do all right random radio random discussion show this is a special edition make sure you guys check out the random radio discussion show every wednesday make sure you guys check out the random radio video show coming up friday and the random radio podcast show every sunday go ahead dt45 random radio